My name is Charlotte Hespi. I'm a GP in Glebe, which is in the inner city of uh, Sydney. Primary healthcare can improve outcomes for people with cancer because we're in a position to be able to detect it early. We know that cancer is much better managed if it's picked up early. We also know that patients are much better if they're coordinated from what I call a patient-centred medical home. We're also then able to refer to the right services and coordinate care in a way that's appropriate for that patient. The key parts of the cancer care pathway for a GP involve right from the very beginning about prevention, uh, detection, diagnosis, um, management and then care right through to hopefully not but palliative care services. The role of prevention in primary health care for cancer is extremely important because we have a great opportunity of having conversations with people before they actually go on and develop cancer and we know that prevention is better than cure. There's a really important role for primary health care in the early detection and diagnosis of cancer. The programs that I'm particularly alluding to are those that have been well researched about the role that they play in being able to detect cancer early and then make a difference in terms of the pathway of care that that patient may need to access. So through the GP, the patients can be educated about the importance of it, as well as the frequency of how much they need to actually be screened. GPs play a really important role in the referral to cancer specialists. Uh, this is because we again are able to cater for the patient in front of us and the sort of service that they might need as well as knowing what the services are that are best for that particular cancer. Uh, we have fantastic resources, for instance uh, there's a really fantastic um, service called Can Refer, which allows you to look at what services are for each cancer within each region. From my perspective, multidisciplinary care is about having all the people who do different things come together and look after a patient. The role of the GP in the multidisciplinary care team is I think sort of at the, the centre with the patient because we are looking after the whole of the patient. We're not just looking after the cancer and what that entails, which can often be quite an enormous thing, but we're also looking after what else is going on for them. It's such a privilege as a GP to be able to be involved in both prevention, early detection, right through the whole management journey of cancer through to palliative care. To be able to do that properly, we do have a responsibility of making sure we're up to date with all the current guidelines, that we're up to date with what services are available for that patient care, and never feel embarrassed to say, I don't know what actually to do with this particular of cancer.